Living a long, happy, and healthy life is something we all want. A hundred years old seems like an age that's impossible to reach, but for the Okinawan people, it's well within their grasp. Okinawa is considered to be the healthiest place on Earth, a blue zone region with home to more centenarians than anywhere else in the world. Today, I'm gonna to live a day in their life and see what they do to make it this far and get a taste of the centenarian life. First things first, we gotta do an Okinawan grocery haul. I wonder if they have tentacles. That's in the Japanese literature I'm used to. My basket's looking like a vegan's version of Noah's Ark. A typical Okinawan diet is only about 1,900 calories. To put things into perspective, the average American diet is around 3,600 calories, so only a 1,700 calorie difference. Maybe Jenny Gray can help. Believe it or not, but 90% of the Okinawan diet is whole food, plant-based. Less than 1% coming from meat, less than 1% from fish, less than 1% from eggs and dairy. So that's 93%. Where's the other 7%? Maybe that is the secret. Breakfast is looking like some Barney roadkill right now, but this is a staple Okinawan breakfast of purple yam, tofu, and then some yellow bell peppers. So in North America, the chief carbohydrate is like cereal and bread and all that not so great things, but the Okinawan diet is pretty much majority of purple yam. It's mostly a vegan diet, but you can live till you're 100. So would you rather have longevity or gains? Take your pick and comment down below. I'd pick gains. I usually say I don't see color, but how can you not in this situation? That vibrant purple, I am just excited to eat. In most Okinawan homes, they have very, very little furniture. Whenever they want to do something like eat or just relax, they will sit on the floor on a mat. And the constant action of getting up and down from the floor will help the elderly build their lower body strength and balance, and it protects them from dangerous falls. So with that said, we are having breakfast on the floor. I'm 27 years old, and it's heard me get on the floor with my knees. I gotta stretch. Hara Hachi Boo. Everybody say it with me. Hara Hachi Boo. This is a phrase that they chant before every meal, which reminds them to eat until they're 80% full and not until they're fully stuffed. I think the, the missing 20% is kind of evened out by all the Nona's trying to relentlessly overfeed their grandchildren. One of the keys to the Okinawans' long life is not only their food, but their attitude towards life. Meanwhile, here it's our food that influences our attitude which is kind of sad. Oh, it has a very distinct creaminess and impressively deep flavors. And oh, so nutty. I did not expect to get spanked in the face with the yam this morning. And I just did. There is tofu in here as well as the protein source. I'm barely even talking about it because it's getting overpowered by the sweet potato. Tofu is a lot like a thumb. You barely know it's there, but once it's not, it's just not the same. You will notice I'm just sitting here. No phone with me, no TV on. I'm just sitting and appreciating the food, which is what they preach. They don't have any distractions. They really just focus on eating, which I think is great because I feel like a lot of times, at least for me, I'll watch Netflix, not even think about what I'm eating. Before you know it, you overeat like crazy. So this is another way to kind of stay in tune with your hunger. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this and then we're heading out to work out. They're getting a little bit territorial right now. So remember when I said we are going to the gym? Well, in Okinawa, they don't necessarily lift weights, but one of the keys to their longevity is that they always stay active no matter how old they are. So one of the things that they do is actually garden along with walking as a gentle form of exercise, which is why I have Victoria here with me. Do you need some free? Are you good? Do I need some what? Free workout, are you good? I never have free workout. You never? I don't need it. You don't need it? Okay, so we are about to rekindle a decade-old Farmville rivalry, and we're gonna go head-to-head -to, -head to see who can plant these six plants the best. So we're each gonna get three. Okay. And then Kofi's gonna be the judge to see whose looks good. So how do, how, like, what is the criteria? Just like, if it looks like it's planted. Definitely not the best weather condition for gardening, but if I can deal with the hydroponic setup in my closet, this shouldn't be a problem. So I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna go because it snowed an hour ago and the ground is for sure frozen solid. Um, but anything for the views. Ready, set, go. Oh, oh shit. Well, okay. Is that asparagus? Is that, you're taking all three at once? This goose is about to come Will Smith my ass. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
So I literally asked Will before we started rolling if we were supposed to actually bury these in the pots. We're not planting evidence today, we're planting plants. You're a lawyer. Look at that. You already in? Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> hey, don't make me jump in the water. I'll do it. I think I got one. Look how you're spanking the ground too. Hey dude, fucking relax. I want these bad boys coming out. I doubt that this is what the Okinawans are doing. How do you think they burn calories? All about being gentle. But how do you think they burn calories? The ground is hard, man. If you hit it hard enough. How do you take these out? Like, oh, oh, I broke the shovel. I actually broke the shovel. Okay, I guess it's I bad. broke the shovel. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, this is not good. I think I also planted these way too close together. Yeah. Usually things get hard around eight inches, but this is like. I buried other things, but never flowers. Should I try going canine? Just yours looks like crap. Yours looks like shit. So I actually intentionally placed my flowers or plants in a triangular form uh -huh. for for unity, for me, you, and Lizzie. You guys are all tough game from far. Yeah. All right, so after careful deliberation, the winner of the planting challenge is William. Look at my colors. You ready for your Okinawa picnic? I don't know what it is other than miso soup, which yeah. I love. So we're having some white rice with steamed broccoli and soybeans. This is very sad. Yeah. But the miso soup. Like sadder yeah. than our garden. So it's instant miso soup. Okay. They used to call me instant miso when I worked for King and Prince. So before we eat, we have to say Hara Hachibu. Hara Hachibu, what does that mean? That means it just reminds yourself to only eat until you're 80% full. So not all the way. So what does that mean? Like what would be all the way full? Like when you did your 20,000 calorie challenge? It would be like RPE 10. So you wouldn't go above failure. <laughs> this is not what we're supposed to do. Okay. Hara Hachibu. Hara Hachibu. So only 80% full. They must have had no mm. cool kids in high school. Nobody's willing to go all the way. Mm. Oh, nothing hits like miso soup. I don't know why you're using a freaking soup spoon. Because I can't use chopsticks. And you want me to use my hands? I brought chopsticks. Oh, you did? Oh, you're making me look bad on my own show. The guy Fieri and me just wants to put some cheese on it and then put it under the broiler. Honestly. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, this is just sad. Yeah. Do you feel very tired? Do you feel like you're exerting yourself from gardening? Honestly, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I want to go back to my soup. I was really enjoying that. I'm not going to I'm liking this. Are you aware? Mm hmm. Yeah. But breakfast, oh man. I don't know what you have. There's an Okinawa saying that oh. says at 70, you are still a child, at 80, a young man or a woman, and if at 90, someone from heaven invites you over, you tell them to just go away and come back when I'm 100. Love it. Yeah. I feel like I'm 27, and I'm like wondering if my headache is from caffeine withdrawal or if that's just how life is. You know what I mean? They've that's my across. ride. But it is really nice to sit outside. It is. Drinking the warm stuff, it's not so yeah. bad. And I kind of like sitting on the ground, weirdly. You just like appreciate it. Mm -hmm. The birds are chirping, the air is just swishing, and there's no probation the violations. Just swishing. Meal two pretty much looked like death row's most skippable last meal, so it's no surprise that I'm pretty hungry right now. Now, people in Okinawa typically wouldn't snack but they said if they got hungry between meals, they would have something like a piece of fruit, a handful of nuts, or some miso soup. So apparently fruit is a valid snack. To me, that is, you know, when that's a moment of desperation. Your back is against the wall and you have access to no other calories but fruit. So we got some dragon fruit and we got some passion fruit, which looks very, very unrefreshing. Fruit is supposed to be refreshing. This is worrying me more than exciting me. But let's start with the dragon fruit. Of course, it's the dragon I'm chasing again. Right off the bat, that's weird. Mmm. Now let's get into this passion fruit. Look, look how gross that looks. I don't even know if it's supposed to look like that. Usually for me, passion fruit is grapefruit. What the hell looks like bugs? Oh, it's tart. Tart and crunchy. All right, let's get on with the day. I got my black belt in, uh, when did we first meet Kofi? Actually, it was my birthday. Oh yeah, it was. 
damn. But one thing I've never done is karate. So we actually have the honor and privilege of going to a legend in the games home dojo. All right, guys, so I'm here with Jamie. She's small, but she is definitely deadly. <laughs> and she's gonna be taking me through a little bit of a training session today. And what are we gonna start with? We're gonna start with Sunshin Kata. So this is our breathing kata that introduces a sequence of vitality movements and breath work. Okay. Traditional to Okinawa and traditional to our style of go do karate. So you're gonna start heels together, hands by your side. You're gonna do a bow. Good. Within karate, everything starts and ends with respect. So from here, you're gonna make two fists and bring them in front. But this is a block. So if you extend the arm towards me, yeah. this is a block. Okay. So you're starting with two blocks here. Yeah. Back straight, shoulders pulled back. There you go. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just so you guys know what this feels like. It's like every muscle in my body is contracting in the most uncomfortable way possible. <laughs> you're gonna pull the left hand back. You're bringing it all the way back as if you're loading up uh, an arrow. Breathe, pull in, breathe in. Exhale. <sighs> Breathe in, full, expand your lungs, exhale. So because we do a lot of kicking within Go Do Do, we've got to make sure that we're stretching and giving ourselves opportunity to limber up. What do we got? This what is are we a working public, with? public announcement to stretch, guys. <laughs> There's no way it's under 20 pounds. Like 13? Okay. <laughs> it looks so much more badass. Than I know, you know. Right? So Just a pile of cement. <laughs> it's 50 pounds. <laughs> Heels out. Toes out. Heels out. Toes out. Bend your knees. Yeah, back straight. Like a sumo wrestler. <laughs> like a sumo wrestler, exactly. Yeah. Back straight. From here, you're going to take it in one hand, and I want you to bring it back, almost like you're doing a tricep extension. Big deep breath in. And out. Good. Down an inch. There we go. We're testing the limits here. There we go. In. <laughs> Out, good. Oh All my right. gosh, I'm under tension right now. There we go. <laughs> what did you just do? So you're going to circle it around to the outside and bring it over. Whoop. Breath in. That's it, watch your back, keep your posture straight. There we go, and around. <laughs> there we go, in. One more, in. There we go, yeah. You know what's a good way to test if someone's a martial artist? is checking their triceps. It was like the very traditional way that really? they used to do it. They'd go and shake somebody's oh, you hand. Oh, okay. We're like, oh, how you doing? Oh, really? Like, oh, We're gonna circle to the outside, bring to the front. There we go, nice. Last one. Good. I think a lot of people watching this are gonna assume that it's easy. Yeah. Then you don't realize how much you have to tense in like the most awkward ways and it's so difficult. You got it, yeah. Oh. So you could use the shoot though. That seemed like a hard. Nice. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. There you go. That's it. That's oh. the sound. Yeah. That's the sound? Okay. That's the sound. No shot me doing 100 reps. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Every kick has four different parts to it. Up, okay. out, back, down. Mm -hmm. Good, hands up. You always wanna keep your hands up for yeah. two reasons, balance and protection. Mm -hmm. From here, knee up. Good. Hey, you feel that? There you go. Oh. Do you feel that? Yeah, if you don't pull your toes I thought I broke back. my toe. <laughs> Ow. There you go, that's better. Do it again. There you go, do it again. Good, once more, go. There you go. This time I'm going to teach you a key eye. Okay. So we use a yell of spirit, which comes all the way down from the center of your stomach. So as you're approached and as you're in combat, you go, hi! So, go, hi! All right, okay. Hi! Hi! That's it. That's Good kick. Hi! There we go. Good kick. Hi! That's it. Louder. One more. Ooh. Ready? Go! Hi! There we go again. Ready? Go! Good job. Oh, that's a different kind of workout. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you do this in the dojo. High fives. Sure, we do. Yeah. <laughs> Good Thank job. You. Especially after we do Wordle. Look, I'm going to burn the house down here. 
For dinner today, we have soba noodles with some bok choy and a mushroom stir fry. And then for the protein, we're finally getting some real protein in the form of some seared tuna. So one of the ways that they eat until they're 80% full is by using, and they choose to use smaller vessels to eat their food. You're more likely to eat a lot less without even thinking about it. They pretty much say, look at what you think that you could eat until you're full and then take away 20% of that. I wonder if packing it counts. I mean, as long as it fits, it fits, right? There we go, little leakage out the sides, just how I like it. And then for our tuna on a separate plate. One last time, I have not hit the floor this much since spring break. So, dinner time, everybody. Oh, I am super hungry. Gonna start off with my four ounces of tuna, which does not seem like a lot, but when you've been craving it all day, you will make it work. I really do like just focusing on the food. Mm -hmm. It makes you appreciate it so much more. Moving on to the soba noodles. Never had it before. I do love things that are long and dark, but it does not have the girth that I crave. I will say though, even though I haven't eaten a lot today, and I've kind of pretty much been giving my stomach blue balls, I do feel really good. I haven't been overdoing it. I feel a lot more energetic, not very lethargic during the day. So there might be, well, I guess there is something to eat until you're 80% full. The stress levels of these people are pretty much non-existent. It does not exist in Okinawa. And here we have something called hurry sickness. I don't know if you guys have heard of that saying where you know, you're in high school and all you think about is graduating high school and then going to college or university. And then when you're in college or university, all you think about is graduating college or university and then getting a job. And then when you have a job, all you think about is retiring and then you retire and then you're in a hospital bed and before you know it, you forget to live. You know, I think we always kind of chase that, that next thing without kind of focusing on the moment at hand. And we stress about all these things that don't really matter and it kills you, you know? So you kind of just have to focus, be happy. And I mean, that is really so simple to say, but it is the recipe to a long life. I forgot to say harahachi boo. Harahachi boo. A very simple day because they live a very simple, healthy, happy, and stress-free life. And that, my friends, is the key to the longevity down in Okinawa. They're just happy people. They're community-based, just having a good time. There's no such thing as retirement. If you're a farmer when you're young, you're a farmer forever because you just enjoy what you're doing. Here in Western society, we stress about everything like our work, but it's not necessarily the work. It's our attitude towards our work. So we have to have a better positive mindset towards everything that we do. And of course, eat our fruits and vegetables a little bit more. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.